today we're trying to see if we can make it to two places or at least one place if we make it to central london then it's fine if we don't make it to central london then we can make it to the um african market yeah african market so one of these two places we should be able to go today but that's where we're starting this vlog from i will catch you guys in the next clip a change of journey where we're actually headed is called the western international market it's the fruit and vegetable market and they said it's the biggest fruit and vegetable market here in london this is supposed to be a western international market open food market somewhere around london and that's where we're heading for and the map it says we're going to be there in 13 minutes <music> signpost i don't know if you can see clearly but so we got here and they told us that we can't come in because it's a night market so we have to come in it starts from 11 p.m to 10 a.m sorry 11 p.m to 10 a.m so it's almost like 11 hours and so if we're coming in we have to come with a reflective jacket it's compulsory mandatory to have one on and so we'll have to stop by at a shop and um buy one reflective jacket and keep it so we'll look at since we're on holiday maybe this night or tomorrow morning we'll come back to this market i'll keep you updated talk to you later the next morning so we started to set out around 5 30 or thereabouts to come to this place and like i said yesterday we didn't go in because they opened up at around 11 p.m to 10 a.m so we know that within the window of 5 30 to 6 37 we should be able to find something so we finally arrived at the market again and this time we got the reflective jacket and we we're able to go in it was still dark when we came to the market at about 5 38 i think right now Plantain, yam, red pepper, vegetables. So that's all because it's a more vegetable and 
fruits markets. We couldn't buy the fruit because it was going to be too much. Except we we'll find somebody that was going to share with them if the easier yeah, buy the fruits. So we're back from the market now. I just went to change because <sighs> I was a bit tired. You know, we just woke up, got dressed, and went to the market. So for the yam, we bought a, a pack for thirty-two pounds, and when we opened up, we saw like one dozen, twelve. I counted it was one dozen, so that's for thirty-two pounds a yam. Then the plantain, I didn't count. That's a lot to count. There was. Um, that was thirty-one pounds for the pack of plantain. That's when we wanted to share with somebody, but. We looked around we didn't find anybody so we just thought that instead of not buying at all let's buy it and then make different types of meals with plantain for the vegetable we bought for 10 pounds 50 the whole pack was 10 pounds 50 the tomatoes was nine pounds that's two packs in one the top part the top part that you're seeing now and there's another one under it yes that's why it's um nine that's why it's two layers and that's for nine pound and then the red bell pepper we bought for eight pound i think i counted that one it was two dozen 24 pieces yes that's for eight pound and the fresh pepper was 20 pound of course i can't be counting pepper but i was able to pack it into like three different bags so all that was for 20 pounds so those are the things that we bought we couldn't really buy food because we thought that it was going to be too much because one whole pack you have to buy a pack because it's a wholesale market so that was why we didn't buy fruit it was going to be too much and that's it about that if this market is a market you want to try out is somewhere around west london here is the market called the uh, western international markets the fruit and vegetable market so thank you so much for taking time to watch this video if you watch this video up until this time please hit the subscribe button like this video please give it a like and guess what I'll see you in the next video. Bye.